Hey everyone, it's me Gavin Vengeance and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the character demo trailer for Tartaglia, aka Child in Genshin Impact, as well as the collected miscellany trailer as well. Full disclosure, I already have played as this character because this video is being recorded after the release of version 1.1. And this morning, as soon as I logged on to the game, I tried to pull because I wanted to get Beto, and of course I did not get her, I ended up getting Tartaglia. So, um, I do have an idea of the abilities and everything that will be showcased in this, but we're gonna listen in for the story elements and see if there's anything that, uh, piques my interest, I guess. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, let's see what this has to hold. Dearest sister, I've been away for so long, I've almost forgotten the cold of our home. You know I grow restless when life is ordinary and boring. Though in Leo, fuses of excitement can be found everywhere. Did it talk Just about his sister right before? Spark. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I'm liking the music. Come at me! Not much of an adversary, but enough for a sideshow, I guess. Time to end this! Now's our chance! That's so? If you were smart, you wouldn't charge into unknown danger. It'll be an easy victory, but I still won't hold back. Your brother has just been taking care of some trivial matters here, really. But Tonya, rest assured. The future that Saritza desires, the future the people of Shnezhnaya desire, it will be had. See, that's what I need. I need more story for Tartaglia, honestly, because, like, that's one thing that I was very curious about. I want to know what his motives are, because that's a very mysterious character, and he's trying to help out, like, the main character as well. So, there's a lot to unpack with him. There's still so much mystery revolving around Child right now, and honestly, that's what I needed. Um, I already know what his abilities are, and for anybody who, you know, also needs to know about what his abilities are, I can give you a quick breakdown, although I'm sure we're gonna get it in the next trailer, so let's get into that, and I mean, if you want to hear more about it, then, you know, if it's not summarized or all that stuff by the video, which I'm sure it will be, then I'll, I'll go over it in detail, so, uh, let's get in that next one. The Fatui from Snezhnaya are known to make waves wherever they go in Tavat and Tartaglia is a driving force within them. Of the eleven Harbingers, ten concern themselves with clandestine operations. Tartaglia is the sole exception. Rather than lure his enemies into a trap, he prefers to face them head-on in one-on-one -on -one combat. The wind is picking up. There is conflict in the air. His reputation precedes him. Child is known far and wide as a fearsome warrior. Well versed in a variety of fighting forms. He can switch stances at will, and has two distinct modes of attack at his disposal. Which is pretty cool. When Tartaglia is in your party, all characters' normal attacks gain one level, I dealing did, I increased did not know damage that. as a result. That is cool, I did not know that. Huh. Tartaglia is weakest with a bow, so he chooses to use one precisely to overcome this weakness. His normal attack can combo up to six consecutive shots. Charging the attack executes a more precise shot that deals increased damage. Yep. While aiming, hydro energy accumulates on the arrowhead. A fully charged arrow will deal hydro damage to enemies on impact, and also apply the Riptide status to them. When an enemy is affected by Riptide, Further hits from Tartaglia's fully charged arrows deal multiple bouts of area of effect hydro damage. Yeah, I've realized that as well using it. But also, also combos really nice when Tartaglia with, uh, defeats an enemy Electro. affected by Riptide, it causes a hydro burst, which applies the Riptide status to nearby enemies. Super useful. Unlocking the talent never ending extends the duration of Riptide. Faced with a strong foe, Tartaglia will reveal his true might. When he casts his elemental skill, 
He summons weaponry fashioned from pure Hydro, dealing Hydro damage to surrounding enemies in the process, and also switches to his melee stance. In this stance, his normal attack now combos up to six consecutive Hydro slashes. And it is super awesome, especially if you don't have Charging a uh, melee Hydro character. Stamina and releases a two slash flurry, dealing Hydro damage. In melee stance, when Tartaglia strikes an enemy affected by Riptide, he deals area of effect hydro damage. Tartaglia exits melee stance when his elemental skill is cast again, yep. or after and a certain cool time is elapsed. Long. He then returns to his ranged stance, and his elemental skill enters cooldown. I the think longer it's like Tartaglia spends in man. melee it, stance, it the longer long the cooldown time. time. After unlocking the talent Sword of Torrents, when in melee stance, if Tartaglia deals a critical hit, the Riptide status is applied to the enemy. Oh, that's nice. Depending on Tartaglia's stance, his elemental burst will unleash one of two different yep. attacks. Riptide! I prefer the one with the blades. In ranged stance, Tartaglia swiftly fires a Hydro-imbued magic arrow ahead of him which deals area of effect hydro damage and also applies the riptide status to enemies. Afterwards, Tartaglia regains some of his spent energy. Yep. Shouldn't let your guard down. In melee stance, Tartaglia performs a slashing attack with a wide area of effect, dealing substantial hydro damage to all surrounding enemies. And if the elemental burst hits an enemy affected by riptide, the Riptide effect will be consumed in a Hydro Explosion, which deals Area of Effect Hydro Damage. Super, Tartaglia is super a formidable awesome warrior against a group of who lives for the heat of battle. He chooses his moments to attack and retreat, and is tactical when selecting his mode of attack. This is what makes him so powerful. Faced with a single opponent, Start by firing at them from a distance to apply the oh, Riptide stance. Some strategy. Then, oh, that's cool. enter melee stance and go in for the kill. Use fast and frequent attacks to trigger Riptide effects and deal immense damage. Against groups of enemies, build up energy in advance and unleash an elemental burst in ranged yep. stance to apply ball. the Riptide status exactly. to the group. Or then, enter that. melee stance and attack the enemies affected by Riptide hacking away at their health, while also restoring Tartaglia's energy. Wait for an opportune moment to unleash another elemental burst and take them all out in one go, bringing the battle to a clear-cut conclusion. So I really don't need to explain anything about how to Do use them. This video is doing an excellent job of that. his fighting skills before becoming a harbinger. Nor do many know where his lust for combat originates. There is a dangerous secret to the martial legacy he inherits. But it is one that even he himself does not fully understand. Like I said, a lot of mystery with Since this character. Since becoming a Fatui Harbinger, fighting for the Tsaritsa is his new motivation as a warrior. Child is the Tsaritsa's weapon of war, and he stands for the might of Snezhnaya. An icy storm is starting to blow towards the other nations. Brace yourselves. Tevat is about to get cold. Huh. Interesting. That was good. I really like that video. Um, so like I said, it pretty much explains exactly everything that you need to know about Tartaglia. If you're interested in pulling for him, you can do so, I believe, for the next like 20 days or something until the uh, the banner goes away. And then I believe the banner with uh, Zhong Li will be available. But um, for myself, I said, hey, I don't really want Tartaglia in my initial video, and then, uh, I was pulling to try to get Beto, and of, of course I ended up getting, uh, Tartaglia, so, hey, cool, um, I got every other character, including, uh, Ningguang, um, I also got, uh, Diona, Diona, yeah, Diona, I got her, and then, uh, the other character that was available in the banner, Tartaglia, um, so yeah, Fantastic character, actually. After using him, I was like, okay, I'm not so disappointed. Um, I'm glad I got him, and I'll probably end up keeping him in my main party, especially with that attack boost, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, if you guys want Tartaglia, then there's all your information about him and how to use him. 
hope you guys enjoyed the video i appreciate it very much for watching um and yeah i guess we will uh take a look at whichever character gets introduced next so if you guys want to see any more genshin impact videos be sure to subscribe thanks again take care everyone have a great day see you later